Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at my status effect build. This build will inflict every status effect. Obviously, the caveat is inflicting one status effect is going to be better overall. You're going to have much better luck with it. But this was a fun proof of concept and it allowed me to take a look at how effective each status effect actually is. And I would say that stacking status effects is not that effective. You want one, maybe two, for peak effectiveness. But this build is still fun, and I actually enjoyed this a lot more than some of my other playthroughs of the game. For the weapon, we have the Talon, and that has the Olandi Adrix and Trellos runes. For the throwing spear, we have the Enhanced Battle Javelin of Assault, and that's going to buff our damage. You could also use the Enhanced Battle Javelin of Protection, but I didn't really find it that necessary. For the rings, we have the Wildfire Ring, which when an enemy is damaged by an explosion from Ignite, it becomes burned. And we have the Bloodbane Ring, which applies bleed when we apply poison. For the Pendant, we have the Pendant of Burden, which increases our damage when different status effects are procced nearby. For the armor, I have the Ardian Pendant Head Cage, Tancred's Armor, Holy Bulwark Gauntlets, and the Crimson Rector Leggings. This is simply the heaviest equipment in the game that provides the most protection. You can obviously change what you want to equip. For the stats, you want 41 Strength, 50 Agility, and 60 Vitality. The reason that we're going 41 Strength and 50 Agility is due to, well, 150 being the damage soft cap, but also because the Talon scales more with Dexterity, but it also has good Strength Scaling. So we want to do a quality build of sorts. Then for 60 Vitality, that's obviously the, the, the Final Health soft cap, and so that's really going to make your survivability a lot better. For the starting classes, there are three starting classes you can choose. The Blackfather Ranger, the Exiled Stalker, or the Condemned. Based on the class description, as well as just the thematic, the starting class, I would recommend the Blackfeather Ranger. Now to get the Talons from the Crow's Nest in the Thief of the Chilled Curse, you want to backtrack through the level and go behind the smokestack above the water in the village. Adorix, the poison rune, can be found in the Forsaken Fen by killing the Shuji warriors. These are little mage guys that throw poison at you. For Alandi, the smite rune, you can farm it from the Abbey of the Hollowed Sisters, the Scourged Sister enemy. From the Lower Kalroth Depot, heading to the Fitzroy's Gorge, you can farm Trellos, the Knight Rune, from the Proslite enemies. You can farm them from any of the Proslites in the game. This is just the closest one that I found to a Vestige, which makes it easier to farm. To get the Enhanced Banner Javelin of Assault, from the Empyrean, you want to travel along the left side toward the Ruined Tower, and right on the inside of the tower, you'll be able to find it. To get the Pendant of Burden, when you travel through the Forsaken Fen from the, the Suja Hamlet Vestige, you travel through that little hamlet there, and you go towards the bonfire, and up the ladder, past the enemies fighting, there's going to be a chest. To get the Bloodbane Ring, you're going to go from that same vestige in Forsaken Fen, and you're going to travel through basically the same path, but in, instead of going towards the bonfire, you're going to progress the level, and right before the shortcut that you can 
the bridge you can knock down to create a shortcut. There's going to be a outcropping of wood and you want to roll into that to grab the Bloodbane ring. To get the Wildfire ring, you need to progress Winterberry's quest. After you complete the Find the Thief quest, he will sell the item. Overall, this build is very strong, despite not really being focused on any particular status. And if you wanted to change statuses that you're focusing on, such as going to Poison or to Smite, you can just use the Salts. The Smite Salts or the Poison Salts. I've tried by using the Smite, the Poisoned, and the Ignite Salts, and I've found that the Ignite really feels like it does more than either of those, but feel free to experiment.